is Maxi Design here and welcome to a new video um, and welcome to the first of many tutorials um, based on uh, covers that I've done in the past that you guys wanted to see. Um, a lot of people wanted to see covers that have been broken down um, and how I kind of went through and made them. Um, so that's what I'm going to do today. So this is the Post Malone Rockstar um, cover I did a, a, probably like two years ago. Um, and a lot of people liked it. Um, it's actually really easy to make. Um, so if I open up a new layer here, the way you do it is you do 3000 by 3000, which is the, the width and height that I tend to use. You can do 300 resolution um, if you're gonna print. Um, if you're gonna print the cover and you're actually gonna use it as a cover, um, then I'd go to CMYK. But for now, I'm just going to do RBG and I'm going to do 72 resolute. Right, so the first thing I started with on this cover was simply just a black background. So I took the um, rectangle tool and I opened up a black background just like that. I made it a little bit more grey than black. So um, maybe not that grey. About there. You can take the color hashes if you want. It doesn't need to be exact. Um, but yeah, so what I did next, what I did next was I found a photo that kind of had a black background, kind of like this one. Let me, so once you have your photo, drag it into Photoshop. Um, and what I'm gonna do with this one is I'm gonna make it so the picture is on the right. Uh, and then I'm gonna go to difference on this little bar here. Um, the reason I'm going to do that is because it's such a dark photo um, and it kind of blends back into the background. So I might even make this bigger. I might just fill this because it's got such a high top. Like so. Okay. Um, and then the next thing I did on this cover was add this little barbed wire. So I found a picture of a barbed wire. I'm going to rotate that. Bring it in. So it doesn't really matter that it's a little bit, um, a little bit pixelated. If you just add noise to it, um, it'll basically just um, chop up the image enough to make it look a little bit better. Um, but what we're going to do to it is go to the adjustments layer, go to black and white. Um, we're going to play with the. So there's a lot of blue in there. So play with that a little bit until it kind of looks dark enough. And then add noise. You see what I'm saying about changing like, the quality of it. It looks, makes it look a little bit higher quality, but with the noise. Um, and then I'm gonna play with this to see, oh, that looks quite cool. Like so. Um, so that is on pin light. Um, if you guys wanted to copy that. What I'm gonna do, is make it so the barbed wire goes behind um, the picture of not like that. I'm gonna just get rid of it. So if I go to the eraser, make it a little bit bigger, go onto the soft round brush, a little smaller. If you just go like that, like so. So for this cover I did Rockstar, um, I guess I could do a different um, song for this one. Um, I think some Goodbyes probably, um, just because it's the, of the size of the, the lettering, kind of the same as Rockstar. I think I'm going to use a different font for this. I'm going to use Druck, which I've used in the past. Um, and I'm going to use the super wide version. So make it a little bit bigger, like so. Um, like that, and then I'm gonna bring it down like this, and then add, who's there anyone featured on the song? Young Thug. So post my own. Young Thug. So now you've got your text layer and your background layer. I'm gonna try to show you guys how I did this effect with the, te with the text. Um, so what I did was I took 
the duplicated version, which is this one. Um, and I brought it to the front. So bring it above this one that you've made red. Um, and then what I did was I converted it to a shape. So now your, uh, now your letters are all um, like vectors. <coughs> Next, I took the fill off, so now it is like that. Um, and then I added the same red and made sure it was on the inside. So the top one is on the inside, then it's on the outside for the bottom one, and then on the line is on the in the middle. Um, so yeah, everything's fine there. I just need to check the weight of that. So if I bring this behind it, and then I click on my movement tool and bring it down a bit. So that's a little bit um, too thin. So if I go back to my shape tool, make, make it three. Yeah, that's a lot better. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is duplicate it. So every time you duplicate it, go to the bottom one or drag it below, whichever you wanna do, like so. Um, lastly, if you wanted to add textures, you can. Um, there's loads. Um, I do actually have a texture pack on my channel that you can download from, um, which includes all of these. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, you could really test, like, test about with all the different um, options. So something like this, um, and just give it a go. So you can end up making stuff like that. Um, I think that looks pretty cool. If I Turn it down a little bit, and then get my root rubber, rasterize it, and get rid of some of the like so. Yeah, there's tons of different things you can do with the texture pack, um, and then play around with the um, different variants of layers um, and what you can do to the layers. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, let me know what tutorial you want to see next. Um, yeah, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. So yeah.